my body was better today, y'all. And plus I had flatter turf. It wasn't totally flat, but it was decent. Um, I performed well. We're getting more Republicans added into the universe, right? So I'm getting more pressure to take my mask off. I'm getting more pressure to take my mask off when I'm talking to people. And uh, sometimes uh, they will assure me they're vaccinated and I assure them that I'm vaccinated too. And uh, they want, uh, we are, I'm getting people to sign petitions, right? So I do have to invade the six foot rule so I can transfer things to people. I am in fresh air, I am vaccinated, I am masked. But yeah, it makes me nervous when they want to start putting social pressure on me to take my mask off. And it's happening more frequently because of the universe that we have now. <laughs> it's happening far more often. Um, you know, um, but then I watch people in the medical field talk about how the uh, Om Omicron variant is so much more highly contagious than the other variants that we've seen. So far it has not um, proved out to be more deadly, but it's far more contagious and it's still a very serious disease. And if you have any underlying health conditions, it can really mess you up. So um, it makes me nervous because I'm trying to have persuasive conversations with people and they're trying to persuade me to take my mask off. So one of the things I said today because we're having extreme weather variances too, which is probably complicating the situation with my joints, right? Because it's hot in the middle of the day and then the temp drops down into like the low 50s. Um, so tonight, it happened a couple of times today. And um, the first time it happened, I said, it just made... I, I know you're vaccinated. I know I'm vaccinated. It makes people more comfortable. So I just keep the mask on. Even though I'm, I mean, not only am I doing this for my own safety and health, but I'm doing this because it is our safety procedures to do this. Like I have to wear my mask, but I would wear my mask even if I didn't have to. I even like when I started this, uh, this work in mid October, um, my team lead said, uh, you know, if you still want to wear a face shield, you can. Okay. So I, I did go to that level of, I'm not wearing the face shield anymore. I still have it. I could wear it, but I would, you know, I mean, like it's so hard culturally now to get away with stuff like that. So hard culturally now to get away with that. The, set, the other guy in the evening, when he, he was a Republican, nice, nice dude. We talked for a long time. Um, he didn't sign my petitions because it, it, I'm finding a lot of the Republicans want to read all the language first. I don't know if they're just giving me an excuse. Um, so I now have a go-to answer on that. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you, Isabella. Um, the go-to answer is all of the proposed measures are available on the registrar's website, ocvote.com. It's either .com or .org. I always forget. But I just, you know, I just talked to these people personally. Like, I had um, one family, uh, um, a mom and, uh, like, an elder mom and a middle-aged daughter kept me at the door for a long time. Um asking me, if you live in Aliso Viejo, which is literally, literally right over the hills from where I'm walking, why do you care about what's happening in Laguna Beach? So they were grilling me, right? And I'm like, well, I grew up down here. I moved to Mission Viejo in 1980. I used to go to Club Post Nuclear. And the woman immediately, smiled. she was the one grilling me, right? She's like, oh my God, that's so funny. I totally remember that club. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, I want to keep Laguna, the, you know, I want to preserve the small town seaside village that Laguna is. That matters to me. I grew up down here. 
it's having those little tidbits of knowledge, y'all. It's having those little tidbits of knowledge. But yeah, the, the other guy, I told him um, when he was trying to, he was being very charming too while he was trying to convince me to take my mask off. I think he just wanted to see what I looked like, right? He just wanted to see what I looked like. Um, I said, I said, it's okay. It's keeping my face warm because it's so cold, right? It's keeping my face warm. And, you know, it makes people feel comfortable. Um, so I, I, I did as well as can be done in our current climate of getting signatures. I'm still getting a lot of signatures on all four ballots. Um, but with Republicans added into the universe, I'm finding that they are more receptive to the initiatives we're trying to get on the ballot that they don't perceive as being labor. They don't perceive as being pro-worker. So they really like the, the one about development because that's going to obstruct their views. If, if these hotels keep developing and uh, without permission and building and building, then that obstructs your seaside view. You can't talk about development uh, raising your property values if it's going to cut off your view of the sunset, right? <laughs> that's not going to happen. Um, and the, the parking, the parking congestion in their neighborhoods. It's mutually beneficial to both the neighborhood and to the employees if we require these developers to provide parking for their employees. So they like that one. They're somewhat receptive to that one and they are receptive to the pandemic disaster response because they, I can very easily make the argument about states' rights with that one. But the ones that are about raising the minimum wage or getting nurses into dialysis clinics, they see those as totally union. Like they see that as like way pro worker and let's be real, they don't care. They don't care. <laughs> you can pitch every idea out at them about how it's safer for patients. Uh, to have registered nurses, that there's going to be less likely of a chance that somebody's going to end up in the hospital because they weren't cared for properly. You could pitch all that all day long, and they're always going to be like, it's going to cause inflation. It's not. It's not. <laughs> These clinics are required to operate because this is a life-saving procedure. The states will not let them shut down. It's going to raise the cost of health care. Well, then we should have Medicare for all, shouldn't we? I have not been pitching that, though, because I don't want to go too, I don't want to go too far to the left on them when I'm talking to them. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of people out there that are like, I can't let good things happen to workers. <laughs> Why, would I, Why would I let good things happen to workers? Um... I'm keep, I, I will just keep working on my persuasive language every single day and it'll get more and more refined.